Dwight Powell, Christian Wood, Willie Cauley Stein, Javel McGee, Boban Marjanovic, DeAndre Jordan, and Chris Stapps Porzingis. What do those names have in common? Those are all guys who at some point in time were starting centers for the Dallas Mavericks during the first five years of Luka Doncic's career. And aside from Chris Tapps Porzingis, who had serious injury problems in Dallas, that is the most washed list of players you are ever likely to see. Luckily for Dallas, they probably won't have to worry about signing any more washed centers for a very long time. Because in addition to Daniel Gafford, who is a very good role player, Derek Lively looks like the answer to all of the Mavs big man problems they've had since drafting Luka Doncic. I mean, anytime a 20 year old rookie is one of your best players during a finals run, you know you have a special talent on your hands. But for him to do that as a center, as someone who's expected to take a bit of time to develop, I don't think even Derek Lively himself could have expected to make such an impact in just his rookie season. And when I say he was one of the Mavs best players during their finals run, that is absolutely no exaggeration. Because over the course of the playoffs, D-Live ranked fifth in plus minus, fourth in rebounding, first in offensive rebounding, and seventh in total blocks, and did all of this whilst only playing 22 minutes a night. And that pretty much sums up Lively's game right now. High energy, high motor, and a very, very high impact, even as a rookie, because of plays like this, where he's out on an island against James Harden. And watch here as Harden gets a bit of a step on Lively. With a nice rotation from Green, Lively is able to get back in the play and swat the layup from behind. Or in this play where it's Terrence Mann setting the screen, and as he gets behind Derek Jones Jr., it's a different Derek who is there to meet him at the rim. And the combination of his rotation and then the elevation and timing on the block, that's special defensive work. And Derek Lively was special defensively all playoffs long for the Mavs. Just look at him here initially help off Chet to stop Shea from getting to his spot. Dort then blows past PJ Washington and look who's there to help again, swatting his shot from behind. This is what great defenders do. They are always in position to help when their teammates need it. And it's plays like this, which is why Dallas was so much better with him on the floor versus off the floor, having a 14 point net rating swing during the playoffs and nearly a plus six differential during the regular season as well. And it's hard not to be an impactful player when you provide your team with exactly what they've been missing for so long. Not only does he give the rim protection and elite rebounding, but his partnership with Luka Doncic as a lob threat, it's what dreams are made of. And it's easy to say, oh, anyone can catch lobs when Luka Doncic is your point guard. Well, yes, he's one of the greatest playmakers ever, but the length, the athleticism, and just the ability to catch the ball at its highest point is something Lively does exceptionally well, which isn't always a guarantee. Just look at this play against the biggest freak of nature in the NBA. Lively sets the screen for Luka. Luka gets the defender on his back and pause here. Watch Wemby trying to hedge. So Luka throws the lob and this is where you see the best of both Luka and Lively because it's an absolutely perfect pass, but he was only able to throw a lob like that in such close proximity to Wemby because Lively is a super athlete himself. And there were so many times last year where he brought down lobs that didn't seem possible. And this is the best part about Derek Lively. When he was drafted, the Mavs were hoping to get someone who could catch lobs and protect the rim. One season into his career, and he's already good at doing both those things. So even if he were to not develop at all for the rest of his career, we already know he's an impactful player. Now, how often do you see 20 year olds with this talent just never get better? It's pretty rare. And if you're looking for other areas of his game that he's shown serious potential in, look no further than his playmaking. Yes, the guy who averaged one assist per game is a good playmaker for his position. Or should I say, at the very least, he's a good passer. Because when you play with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving, there are going to be countless possessions where you set the screen for them, two defenders go to the ball, and then with the third defender often helping over, 
work to stop Lively from getting downhill, it's up to him to then make the right read and find the open shooters. Luckily for Mavs fans, he already showed he could do that not just as a rookie, but in the most high leverage moments of the season. Like here where it's Kai handling the ball, and look at him get the ball on the move. Shea helps over just enough, which leaves PJ open, and DLive is able to make the right read. These are the kind of plays we saw him make practically every game during the playoffs. Now, he hasn't reached the point where he's putting the ball on the floor and navigating through traffic, but he doesn't really need to do that, because Luka and Kyrie are so good at manipulating the defense that he only has to decide between making those passes to the corner shooter if the defense collapses or going straight to the rim. And once he gets downhill, good luck trying to stop him. But the fact he's already this confident as a passer in those situations makes me believe that there could be another level for him to reach. And what I mean by that is making plays like this consistently, where it's that Euro around Kobe White and the dump off to Derek Jones Jr. Even a play like this in transition, where Kai throws it ahead to him, but he gets a bit under the rim, so he recognizes that staying in bounds before throwing the pass to Josh Green for the three. It seems like a simple play, but it's the level of fluidity and coordination which he has that you don't always see with guys that play his role and have his physical tools. That's probably a good way to sum up Derek Lively on both ends of the floor. Just a very fluid and coordinated athlete for someone his size. And if you can utilize that level of coordination and fluidity to become more of a scoring threat, well that could turn him into a star. All he needs to do is just hit 100% of his three-pointers like he did in the playoffs. Lively, a corner three, it's good! Eric Lively from downtown. But in all seriousness, that might be something we can expect to see more from him, because it was his three-point shooting that actually raised a lot of heads at the draft combine just last year, with even this being tweeted about Lively at the Mavs open practice during early last season as well. I'm not saying he's going to be the next Chris Tapps Porzingis, but just having the ability to pop out on screens or even spotting up in the corner just adds an extra layer to the value he already brings this team offensively. And speaking of adding an extra layer offensively, it's not just about being able to knock down some threes, but I think more importantly than that is for him to continue developing that post game because teams are going to switch smaller plays onto him, like on this play where he gets power on him in the post and it's just a little pivot and then a hook shot over his right shoulder. With the length he has, as long as he can get that initial seal and a stable base on the entry pass, he doesn't even need to take any dribbles before making those hook shots. And that would be the difference between being a good impactful player that he already is, and maybe an all-star level player similar to a guy like Jarrett Allen. But at the very least, the Mavs have a 20-year-old center who has already proven he can be impactful in the moments that matter. Now, if you want to see me talk about what we could expect from Luka Doncic next season or Klay Thompson on the Mavs, feel free to click on either one of these videos. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.